today we have another video for you. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to do or how to make a mealworm farm. Now it sounds a little gross, kind of like why are you doing a mealworm farm? Uh, the purpose of our mealworms is to provide healthy snacks for our chickens and a little bit of a surprise, we will be getting quail uh, soon. So they're going to be snacks for our chickens and our quail. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is just one of these uh, three drawered plastic bin. Uh, we stole this out of James's bathroom. He had some bathroom stuff in it, so um, we just use that totally free. So that's nice. And what else? Uh, other, what you're going to need too is a drill, a little bit of a window screen, an exacto knife, and for James apparently a beer. Okay, so the stages of the mealworms are you have the beetles that create the eggs, the eggs turn into little mealworms, and then the larger mealworms then metamorphose into a pupa, which begins the whole cycle again. And the pupa, they emerge as a beetle, they lay eggs, you get mealworms, they turn to pupa, they become beetles. So basically, this top shelf is going to be for our beetles, and we're going to have to uh, cut this out and add a screen. And we'll show you, and James will show you how to do that. What's up, YouTube people? I'm James, co owner and founder of Janey Farms. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to cut out the top layer to the millworm farm, and more importantly, I guess what not to do than what to do. I tried drilling some pilot holes, and I was going to use a drywall saw to just kind of go around the corners and cut it out. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it actually did some like hairline fracture or cracking. So instead, it takes about 10 minutes, but just use a regular old box cutter and just cut in a straight line, and then it's pretty much done. So we have the bottom of the first drawer cut out. Thank you, James. Um, and now with this out, we are going to take, did you have, oh, the, um, here is the screen that we are now going to tape on. You're gonna to wanna to tape it to the bottom of the drawer. Just like so. And we're gonna duct tape it pretty good so that uh, the beetles don't crawl out. So we have taped the screen to the bottom of the drawer. Uh, we won't be needing this in for a little while though. Um, but that's ready to go. So now the fun part, um, mealworms, um, they need to live in something. Um, so here we just have Quaker oats. Uh, it's just old fashioned. And we're just gonna pour this in the bottom of the drawer. Maybe a nice inch or half inch or so layer. Maybe not an inch, maybe half inch. It's pretty much took the whole, the whole jar. You can get it for cheaper at Sprouts, I'm sure from the bins. But I just had, I don't like oatmeal and I just bought that so that's why I used it. Okay, now here are our mealworms. They come in a little bag and inside of it is a little newspaper. Oh, ah, we lost a few. See, here they are. Here are a thousand mealworms. I'm just gonna try to unravel these guys. Here are the mealworms. As you see, they settled in quite nicely. Alrighty. Oh, here's a mealworm that's actually shed its exoskeleton. And see, he's, a, he's white. Um, he's gonna turn into a pupa pretty soon, and then he'll be ready to turn into a beetle. Um, anyway, so we're gonna let them do that. I'm gonna sift through them in a few more days to see if any of these more, if there's any more pupa. In the meantime, uh, they will be eating um, the oatmeal as their food and their source of water will be uh, fruit. Uh, apples, bananas, potatoes, um, any of that. So I'm just going to set them in here for their water so they can get to it. Just like so. Just four four little slices. And then they also um, like to be in the dark. So I'm going to build them some a little home. Basically this was a paper towel roll. Just kind of going to cut it in half. Maybe cut it 
cut it just a little more and just put it in there like so for a little house for them to stay out of uh, the sun which they hate apparently I don't know the mealworm never told me that but that's what I heard and there you are and that is it your mealworm farm in the middle of Las Vegas our little homestead uh, easy peasy I will get back to you when we have some pupas and some more beetles Whenever I do my farming, I use the official beer of farming. It's what <laughs> our forefathers used, Sam Adams, the beer of choice.